Well, within the past hour, the, uh, com the Commons leader, Andrea Leadsom, has been down on the ground as well, but her reception uh, a bit more muted, you could say, or in fact, uh, she was met with quite a bit of anger. Let's have a listen to what happened to her. But I know that various ministers have been here and I think a number have tried to come here more privately to try and talk to residents and to try and give practical support and, and that I'm sure will continue. You can, you can, yeah, there's a question, why, why, why privately? Why has, basically, yes. why has Sadiq Khan, yeah. Corbyn have come down here, not with all the stunt of bodyguards and police, they've come down here and spoke to people and actually down to level. Why is Theresa May coming here with a load of police walking around, not meeting no one, not meeting a family? Who is now at the Westway Centre? There's victims there. Is there anyone from your party there? You've come down here. Were you sent here or have you decided to come here on your own? Um, I, I've come here as leader of the House of Commons to represent the House of Commons, which is for all members of Parliament. Um, this emergency briefing we had yesterday you could absolutely feel the sympathy and the horror and the real sense of tragedy. And I think MPs right now from the government down to the newest backbenchers are just desperately wanting to help residents here. So I've come myself today to try and understand if there's any practical support that I can give in trying to, uh, trying to move things on to deal with the immediate problems. You're, you're hearing here this man here said it's not enough woman here yeah. saying that these private meetings are no good. There's a lot of anger. What's being done to reassure people? Well, I've, I've had some um, discussions with um, residents today and I've heard a number of specific pieces of feedback about individual cases and more general points which I want to take away and go and make some action on. You must, you must sense the anger. You must I sense the anger. I absolutely do and I totally understand it. I mean it is devastating, absolutely devastating and of course I do sense the anger and I'm completely sympathetic. I utterly understand how appalling this is. You know right that this could have been stopped, you know that right? You know this fire could have been stopped long, long, long time ago because this block and every single other block in this area is suffering the same way. Suffering the exact same way. Yeah. There is basic stuff, there's not even sprinklers in there. Yeah. That could have cost £200,000 just to do that. They had £10 million to spend. They spent £8.6 Where is the rest of the money? I mean, you know, as the Prime Minister has said, there will be a full public inquiry. As we discussed yesterday, it's also vital that we look at what can be done in the very early short-term period to look at if there are things that need to be checked. I know in, in, in Northamptonshire, for example, my own chief fire officer is going to check every high-rise building in terms of fire safety. There's a lot of fire officers around the country looking again to make sure that this couldn't happen again, but it doesn't help uh, Grenfell you, Tower. Will, will there be money, will, you, he's you've touched on something very important here, will there be money made available for sprinklers? You know, it's, the, pot, the, the um, ministers are looking very carefully at all of the implications, whether there are quick wins that can be done, and in which case they will be done, and of course the longer term policies. But in the very short term, I know, as I say, that there are fire officers all around the country looking very closely to make sure that nothing like this could happen again in the short term. Uh, some 